Good, we're starting. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to back to more Pokemon Platinum. Just want to show off a little something I forgot to do because I did some research after the last session. I just want to show off the location of the TM for Thunderbolt, a very potent attack. And this item here is Electrolyzer. That's a trade item for Electabuzz to evolve into Electivire. Okay, we're done here. So, in the last session, it ended with a giant explosion going off in Lake Valor. So now, being that we're the hero and everything, we have to do all the work. So, cut to... So if you don't mind, we're gonna go ahead and cut all the way back to where we get to Lake Valor to see the damage. See you there! Okay, here we are at Lake Valor. There were two cameramen here, but I doubt they would even be here if an explosion happened. Let's take a look at the damage. Oh, the calamity! All those, look at that. Magikarp are weakly flopping around the ground. How's this one doing? The Magikarp is weakly flopping about. Yep, the damage of this bomb death killed a, hurt a lot of Magikarp. You know what would be funny though, if all the, um, if all of the Magikarp just suddenly evolved into Gyarados. Even Team Galacta has no use for Magikarp. Worthless, all of them. And that, after that statement, all the Magikarp just evolved into Gyarados and just beat the shit out of Team Galactic. Think about it, that'd be a pretty epic scene, wouldn't it? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and skip these battles because they mean nothing. I'm going to have to battle this guy, aren't I? Yeah, I figured. I have no time for you. I forgot to make. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I just picked up Thunderbolt right now. I should just give it to Magnezone. Yeah, these are very good moves to have. Only problem is trying to actually grind for these TMs, like Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and, Fla and Thunderbolt. You have to battle a lot in the, um. in the whole. like, uh, Battle Frontier stuff. And that takes a lot of work just to get these moves. You find them. Use them immediately. They're very potent moves. And honestly, I'm just glad that we actually get to reuse TMs in later in Generation 5. That's when you get to reuse them. And honestly, I'm really glad we that was a change that really needed to happen. Okay, now then, the Valor Cavern. Here's the third of the Galactic Commanders, Saturn. Missions proceed without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone, and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face? I don't even know you. You're the child who ran the Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself, being beaten by a child. But anything can anyone that poses Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. So apparently even thinking of opposing Team Galactic is not allowed. Okay, whatever you say. All right, here's the third commander, Saturn. And yeah, even though you saw Charon in back in uh, Valley Windworks, he serves absolutely no purpose whatsoever. If anything, the only thing he serves is just comedic relief. Getting yelled at by Mars, being mocked by Saturn, he does literally absolutely nothing at all, and the fact that he even was introduced just seems literally pointless when you think about it. You don't even get to battle him at all, even once. And yeah, Toxic is gonna be there, and I see what he's doing. Bronzor. Ugh, bad enough you missed Takedown, but you had to... Whatever. Yeah. I see what he's doing. He poisons, he talks it, Star Raptor, and then it's an Albronzor for the Protect stall. Never mind, he went for Rock Tome. Yeah, and even though that did only damage, it's still something. But whatever, Bronzor is no match for you.
Alright, from this moment on, I'm going to be skipping any and all Galactic Grunt Battles, because they literally have the same Pokémon. And it's not even worth it, and it's not even worth showing off at this point. Alright, even though we've already got a special speed drop, yeah, it was just enough for Golbat to outspeed him. Or her, sorry. I'm not used to my starter Pokémon being a female gender, because it rarely happens. Anyway, like I was saying, the fourth commander, Charon, he literally does absolutely nothing. The only thing he does is just comedic relief. And that's it. He's not even, you don't even battle him once this entire time. He's just, he's just pointless. And now, Saturn sends out his strong Pokemon, Toxicroak. Your anticipation shudder. Well, here's one reason to shudder Earthquake. You cannot survive this. I'm pretty sure you can't. Damn right. I told you couldn't survive. If it's an earthquake, you cannot survive something so powerful like that. And there you go. Sands defeated. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Well, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. Gah, you and I, Commander, only managed to buy us time. Well, that's fine. A shot like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create a new universe. By now, Mars should have gathered the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Well, there you go. We have our destination. And now we got peaceful music. But there is no peace now. There is only devastation. As Magikarp lay there, dying. Maybe then they'll evolve into Gyarados and kick the shit out of Team Galactic. But in any case, let's go home and visit our mom. We haven't seen her in a while, so let's take a look. She made dinner, so let's go eat then. Why not? Okay, time to go rescue Dawn. I'm coming! Alright, no need to skip it. Why don't we just bike there? I'm not that lazy. Jeez. Okay. Well, what's the other everyone's doing? Len, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You gotta help Dawn. Can I just... Oh, I can't. I skip these. Two double battles, aren't there? It's our mission to stall you. We gotta do our job. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. Like, I control how ed editing works. Cut! Like I said, I have no time to deal with these grunts. Enough of this! Alright, enough of this. Don, how are you holding up? Len, it's Team Galactic. They're taking the Pokemon to the lake. I couldn't beat this person. I have to do everything, don't I? That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the wind works. You got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember it, don't you? Fine, I'll tell you again. I'm Moz, one of Team Galactic's commanders. Are you, after, are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a tiny one. You're all going down. Uh, correction, it is you who's going down. Again. All right, Mars now also has a Golbat, who evolved from her Zubat. She also got a Bronzor, like Saturn. In fact, all three commanders have a Golbat, a Bronzor, and then three different Pokemon. Either Paragui, Skunk Tank, and Toxicroak, respectively. I guess this is a point battle. I can't skip this one. Fine. I'll kick your ass and show it on screen so that everyone knows how pathetic you are. I swear to god, this speed cut is really messing up Star Raptor a lot. The speed penalty hurt. Because again, Star Raptor has a nature and it missed. Anyways, as I was saying, Star Raptor's nature boosted special defense at the expense of its speed. And speed is a very important thing to have, and it's not a good thing to do.
I mean, extra special defense is a good thing. But why did it have to be a speed? Something that it sells at. Alright, Inferni. Deal with this Bronzor right now. On the double. Alright, that's I've been recording a lot of Pokemon Platinum. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect to get this far with this succession. Like, this is session number seven, and I'm already on my- and I already have, like, six badges, and we're dealing with Team Galactic right now. I mean, at this point, maybe I should just focus on the- focus on, um, completing this game first. My original intention was just to rotate one by one. But at the rate I'm going with this game, maybe I should just focus more on this, too. And just like that. You lose again, Mars. The score is Len 2, Mars 0. And Frederick gets a nice level up. I like that level up, really good. Again and again. You are such a loser. I lost again. So first the wind works and now Lake Verity. I owe you four. This shouldn't be happening to me. Calm down, Mars. I've done all my part. This my mission was transport the lake's Pokemon to HQ. And it was done. Yep. So Saturn got the Pokemon there and so did they. So did Mars. Mesprit's been caught. Azelf. And Yuxi. So, it's also occurred like Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken by Team Galactic. You went against full fledged criminals. The fact that you unharmed is enough to celebrate. But Bash, there's still Bash who's at Lake Accuty. So, looks like we now are our next destination going to Lake Accuty. Alright. Just might as well go there. Cut! Okay, now then, we have our destination. We're going to Lake Akiti. Of course, we do need strength for this. Thankfully, that's why we have our HM slave, Beaverol, to do the job for us. A lot of people can use strength, but... I have other choices to do that. Alright, roll out. Who cares? At this point, it doesn't matter what Beaverall does. It's just there for... Just to clear some... Just to clear a path for us. Now then, why don't we just go ahead and use our Max Appel? Now then, onward! That's not onward, that's offward. Alright, now then, let's deal with this right now. The strength made it possible to move boulders around. And by that I mean bashing my face repeatedly against said boulder. This fog is new. But, in any case, this is also interesting trivia. Right around this cave, this is where you can catch the very rare Pokemon, Feebass. Yeah, if you surf right over here and start fishing, you can actually catch that Pokemon. However, the trick about Feebass is very, very annoying. Because it only appears in four random spots where it... Every day, and it changes. So, you don't know where it could be every now and then. And... You'd have to, I mean, you'd have to comb around every single place just to catch it. Very annoying and very tedious. Now then. What's over here for us? Oh, never melt ice. This could come in handy. Yeah, I will definitely keep this one, thank you very much. Okay, onward! To Route 216, where we've got lots and lots of snow. And the Ace Trainers are of the snowy variety type. I mean, look at them, they got... They have, um, snowy coats on. It's a nice design, I like it too. Nut Skier is just having the time of his life spinning in circles and moving. I mean, sure, 
Whatever floats your boat, buddy. I'm going to have to battle some of these guys because they have some new Pokemon we haven't seen yet. I'm an elite battler, but cold is my nemesis. What? Not cold? What? Not warm enough for you, buddy? Whatever, Blake. Okay, Ambipom. That's a very, actually, decent Pokemon. And now we have Hail, which damages all Pokemon except for Ice types. And Army Palm is actually kind of an annoying Pokemon, believe it or not, in this generation. It's fast and it's strong too. Packs a wallop. Close combat doesn't kill it, I'm gonna have to switch it out so it doesn't die. Thankfully, it worked, like a charm, so thank goodness for that. Bye, Ambi Palm! My I ran of applause to you. I'll hand it to you. You were pretty good. But not good enough. And the hail continues to fall. Yep, and now we got Porygon 2. It's Porygon, who smoothed out its corners and became a duck. Oh, and it traced my Intimidate ability too. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch right now, actually. Uh, let's see, what am I switch to? Infernape, why not? These trainers actually have Pokemon with actually attacks that you don't expect. I mean, sometimes, I mean, you never know what they have. They actually have good strategies as well. And decent moves on their team. Because usually Pokemon follow, literally NPC trainer, but like, battling trainers, they just have standard moves based on the level ups. Yeah, they actually know how to utilize their moves. I actually give them a decent move set. But it doesn't matter to them, because my Pokemon have good attacks. I mean, look at that, my Pokemon are already in level 40s. Yeah, we can battle, I'm just better than you, that's all. Alright. Can I go ahead and... Yeah, train up Magnezone and Gastrodon. And Gastrodon. I sense a battle that I can't avoid. Alright, let's go. I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Any, th any time will be fine. Beat you? It was obviously going to happen. You stood no chance whatsoever. Sorry, every time I see like an empty field, I usually think there's gonna be a hidden item in the ground. And there isn't. Alright. You may have something new. Let's see. To be ready to answer the call, accept any challenge. That's the way of a trainer. But the question is, do you have anything new? Gold Duck. Don't think we've seen a Gold Duck yet. Sure. I suppose we'll show it off. Gold Duck. I don't know. They're not common. But they're very common Pokemon. But to me, they're kind of annoying. They're like the underwater. They're like the water version of Gold Ducks. No way. That's Tentacle and Tentacruel. Well, in any case, you stand no chance. Alright, oh, and this is actually kind of a weird thing. I always I always mistake Psyduck and Golduck for being psychic types, even though they're not. I mean, look at the name Psyduck. That implies they're psychic type. Hell, they know psychic moves as well, so... Why are, why are the heck aren't Psyduck and Golduck psychic types? I don't... I've always made that mistake. Anyways, Rapidash. If you don't have anything else new, I'm going to skip you. Yeah, we got Will-O-Wisp. We got Burn. But I'm a water type. Can I just, like, wash it off with water? Well, that's not how it works, unfortunately. No, oh, you survived! No matter. The hail will do the job for me. Extinguish him. Extinguish that pony. And there you go. Yeah, double whammy. Pseudo Widow. Don't think we've seen that one yet. Yeah. Pseudo Widow. Looks a lot smaller here than in the other games. But you don't stand a chance either. Goodbye. You fake tree. 
Okay, level up. Great. Where you at? Eat snowball, punk. Hey, that's not nice. That's not very nice at all. Okay, I'm staying here. I'm gonna explore right over there. The belt effect wore off. Nope, we're back here again. Alright, well, let's see what's new here, shall we? It's a snowbird! Yeah. It's an interesting Pokemon. It has the ability Snow Warning, it's a grass and ice type. Meaning it has a quadruple weakness to fire. Not important, so good day. However, before before the seventh gym, there is a Pokemon I do want to catch. Snowrunt is not the one I'm looking for either. But seeing as Omega Zone is close to a level up, I might as well get rid of this thing too. Flash cannon! I said flash cannon! What a disappointment that was. What a waste of time. Alright, max repel. Just so there's no holdups right now. I mean, the seventh the gym is actually close by. I think I can get through this and then do a bunch of other things. Oh, we got a skier. Let's battle. Are you a novice or are you in mid level? I don't know. I'm not a fan of skiing, really. It's too dangerous for me. And I really don't want to get hurt. Yeah. If I had to choose between skiing or snowboarding, I'd choose skiing because it's easy. But even then, I do not want to ski. ski. I'm scared of it. It hurts a lot. And I I'm bad at it. I've gone skiing a few times. I fell down a lot, but never really hurt myself. Well, it kind of scares me. I'm kind of a wimp. I don't really want to get hurt a lot. Like... I don't want to take... I don't want to do anything that would hurt me. And I see wind. Always slows the speed every time. In fact, I think it's guaranteed to drop speed every time it hits. Not quite sure, though, but whatever. Goodbye! Discharge! Yes, please. I prefer to get rid of Shockwave. Yeah, now we have a lot of powerful attacks in our arsenal. Really gonna come in handy right about now. I never expected you to be an expert. Again, never skied... I rarely ski in my life. I've skied like... Um, maybe t three times in my entire life. That's it. This lot's seen better days, but make yourself at home. Oh, yes please, that'd be great. All healthy, chipper, and ready to go. Thanks, Mr. Hiker Man. I see a battle. Alright, what's it gonna be? I always play for keep. This ain't practice. Alright, fine by me. We never pra no practice battles allowed in Pokemon. We play for real. We play for mad cash. But if this guy doesn't have any new Pokemon, I'm skipping it. And... Oh, dang it. Now it's gonna take forever. Maybe I should just skip this battle. Oh, good paralyze. This could come in handy. Yeah, this charge actually has a really high paralysis rate. Case in point. Alright, just stick with discharge. It's actually got a magnet, so it's gonna boost its electric attacks up the wazoo. Oh, and now it got discharge too. But I'm not worried. I'm not too worried. Well, not completely worried. Just a little bit. All right, now then, what's next for you, Garrett? What else do you got? 
What other tricks do you even have at this point? Dust clubs! Okay, evolved form of Dusk Skull. A new evolution in Dusk Noir, which is actually a pretty defensive Pokemon, and one with the packs of Wallop. Look at it, it's got Jazz Hands! Dusk Skull's a pretty tanky Pokemon. It's got a lot of, um, things, too. I mean, it's pack, it's, the attack is decent, but defensive is good. Generation 5 is where they introduce the item called the Eviolite. An item that boosts the attack, no, it boosts the defense and special defense of Pokemon that haven't fully evolved. So basically, Dustclops has a lot of defense. This would boost it even further. And Will-O-Wisp too. That's your game, is it? Alright, well, the good news is, this wore off. We're playing the strategy game, I see. Well, now I can play that game just in time, too. You don't stand a chance with my Thunderbolt. Yeah, keep your big meaty claws somewhere else, Dusclops. I got the name Dusclop. It's, it's Dusk and Cyclops. Because look at it, it's one eye. Dusk is a is a combination of dusk and eye, or no dusk skull, and dusk noir is a combination of dusk and noir because it's a very dark Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the lodge and heal up my Magma Zone again. So excuse me for a second as I go ahead and cut this battle. Well, no, we're not cutting this battle because we're already at the end. We already finished it. You're done for. Good job! Excellent battle! You're a good sport. If you don't play for keeps, you'll lose battles you should be dominating. So in other words, always take battles seriously. Never treat it as a joke. Focus and prepare for any battle. 